Greetings and welcome to another Tomorrow's World webcast. My name is Wallace Smith and I hope this doesn't sound very philosophical, the, today's topic for this particular webcast, but it is not just philosophy or science. It is impacting our society and civilization more and more with each passing day. Uh, it's actually a topic I saw in the June issue of The Atlantic, uh, pretty highbrow sort of magazine, lots of good long articles. This one was titled, There's No Such Thing as Free Will but we're better off believing in it anyway. Uh, an article by Stephen Cave. And essentially, let me just communicate the, the gist of it. It's saying that essentially science is abandoning the idea that we have any free will and that really everything we do is just cause and effect and we're not even making any choices at all. It's just molecules and atoms in our brain bouncing around determining all of our actions and that really we have no choice in the things that we do. Uh, let me just read some select quotes uh, from the article. Uh, actually, the author says right here, the sciences have grown steadily bolder in their claim that all human behavior can be explained through the clockwork laws of cause and effect. Uh, he goes on to say that really this is just the natural progression of what, of, of science's theories about evolution and what began with Charles Darwin uh, and as the idea that we just simply evolved from slime so many years ago. This is just a natural consequence of the beginning of that line of thought. It says later here, that there is also agreement in the scientific community that the firing of neurons determines not just some or most, but all of our thoughts, hopes, memories, and dreams. Uh, that really we are just simply a, a whole bunch of mass of molecules and cells firing off in electrical bursts, and that we really have no control at all over what we're choosing to do, what we want, what we desire. Uh, let me just read one more selection, and then we'll be done with reading from this. They say the list goes on. Believing that free will is an illusion has been shown to make people less creative, more likely to conform, less willing to learn from mistakes, from their mistakes, and less grateful toward one another. In every regard, it seems when we embrace determinism, that is the idea that you really have no choice in what you do, we indulge our dark side. And essentially what the argument in the article is saying is that we have no free will, we're just like robots, but society is way better off if we believe the lie that we have free will and therefore let's just, let's just try to believe the lie and hopefully scientists will hold the dirty secret to themselves. Ah, oh, what a terrible worldview. Uh, but that is increasingly what we see in the realm of science, this materialistic, naturalistic worldview. Uh, it is actually the logical result of the godless worldview uh, that we see increasing in our society. Uh, that truly there is no choice. There's no basis for free will. There's no basis for morality, certainly no basis for moral judgment. And what we see in the world around us is where that leads. Uh, let me ask if there's no real basis for free will and moral judgment, how can we condemn murderers if they really didn't have any choice in what they did? How can we condemn rapists if you know they just really didn't have any choice? It'd be one thing if these things were really true, but they're not necessarily true. This is not a foregone conclusion. This is part of a philosophy that has just infested so many scientific circles and not one to which all scientists agree. Uh, I brought a book as an example. It's called The Mind and the Brain by Dr. Jeffrey M. Schwartz. Uh, he's one of other researchers who have found in their own studies that there is something to uh, the spirit. There is something to, uh, well, I say the spirit, to free will, uh, to conscious choice. And that we're not simply the slaves of a mechanical brain, but we actually do make real choices. And that there is what's called downward causation, that what you choose with your mind can affect the brain. And it's not always a one-way trip. Uh, what does God say in the matter? He's the one that really knows. I'd like to encourage you to go to our website at tomorrowsworld.org and we have a search box just right up there. You know, you'll see it on your right hand side and type in mystery of the mind. As an article, actually I wrote, that's not why I'm promoting it, but I wrote the article there uh, that explains what the Bible says about this topic in more detail. Uh, but let me go ahead and give you the details from just two scriptures. 
we do know that we're made of dirt. We are physical beings. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7 specifies we are dust, but God breathed into us life and we became living souls. We are physical beings. Uh, the word that uh, was coined some time back was physico-chemical beings. Yes, we are physical, but we're more than just physical. Uh, the patriarch Job said in Job 32 and verse 8, there is a spirit in man. There is a, actually it's not Job, sorry, it's a different character in the book of Job, it's Elihu. There is a spirit in man. We're more than the dust that composes us. There is free will. Everything you believe to be true about life, that you actually are making choices, is not an illusion. Don't fall for that lie. It has a corrupting influence. Studies show it has a corrupting influence. They're wrong. The Bible is right. We do have free will. So what are you going to do with yours? I hope you'll check out that article, and I hope you'll check out all of our resources at tomorrowsworld.org.